What's up, beautiful people? We're going to be watching Season 2, Episode 7 of N with an E. I'm excited for this. The last episode was probably one of the best feel-good episodes uh, the show has, has put out that I've watched. Uh, like I said, when, when Anne with an E does scenes like that, they're at their best, and no other show can really compete. Uh, just a good one. The, the play was well done. Anne got to star in it, did amazing. Matthew even got a little part in it, and we saw some of his, fl his flashbacks and uh, his backstory and how it didn't go so well the first time. So we really thought Matthew would drop the script and run out and not do a good job, and it'd just be horrible, and he would feel bad. But no, he had some words. And they all lived happily ever after, and everyone clapped for him and cheered for him. Uh, it was awesome to see Gilbert is back. Gilbert is the best dude ever. There, once again, I said it. Uh, just, he didn't judge Anne. The way he loves Anne, the way he treats Anne, it's just so differently from everyone else. It's, it's awesome. Uh, loving the three-way friendship with Cole, uh, Diana, and Anne. I think that's awesome. I can't wait to see more from that. Uh, just their friendship is growing and still growing, so yeah. Uh, but the full reaction to this episode and all other ones for Anne with an E will be up on my Patreon page. The link will be in the description box of this video and all, all other videos. If you want to check that out, feel free to do so. But if we're on YouTube, we're going to jump into it. And let's go. Ooh. She... What happened? Did she poke the back of her head? I'm... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit concerned about you, Marilla. Look, I don't know what was going on there. I never want to see it again. Dude, what is going on? What at Aunt Josephine's party? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I've said no. I'm too young to be socializing with adults. I've never been to a party before. I think she should let Anne go. Especially Anne's sad voice. Alright, someone, can we check on Marilla? She is clearly not okay here. It's like the others. No, eventually it's not gonna pass soon, like, and I'm worried. I'm worried for her now. Medical school, sir. I know it's for me. Ribbon. Medical school. I love that for you, Gilbert. Need some extra help outside of class so that I can catch up. No, you're not a girl, so he won't offer you time offer you extra help. At all. My time. Tell me, should your father simply give his crops away because someone wants them, feels he deserves them? You don't, he doesn't even, even have time to shave his mustache, so. Yes. Well, the metaphor still plays. This fucker doesn't care for anyone but himself. Like, the things he says, the horrible, horrible things he says. Time, I got my splint off weeks ago, and it's just not the same. I can't draw anymore. Oh. I it's dude. Cole. Cole is a man. Cole is a man. Diana, what if we could convince your parents to let Cole accompany us to Charlottetown? So I seeing as Cole has to ride an errand for his parents, it show. makes him the perfect chaperone to accompany us to the party. He'll be compensated. This little oh, plan okay. is so smart. Of course. You, Michael. Yeah, she really can't even think straight. Michael, dang. Oh. We're going. Yeah. We're going. We're going. But, but and we can't even be fully excited about this. I'm glad they're going. I'm glad. I can't be excited about nothing right now. It's nothing. It's nothing. Says every woman ever. And it's always. 100% clearly. Something. Yeah, we're starting to see this. You still want to say it's nothing? Maybe you'll feel like getting up tomorrow, Mother. Rest up. It's was her night. I couldn't bring myself to have this party last year without her. Time marches on. Love all this. It's still who you are not anymore. Stop, Cole. Stop. You're gonna feel better. It's gonna. It's you're gonna feel better. It's gonna come back. Never been to a party before, and I was wondering if you would please tell me what to expect and how I should behave and, and how how should I 
B, you should expect a riotous good time. And you simply yourself. But I have such a history of doing just that and getting it all wrong and not fitting in and it seems I'm not like everyone else. Then you come to the correct party. Better than everyone else. I was reading that last year. May I borrow it? Those were her books. They oh, said just man. Yeah. This episode is so gloomy and just sad, Philly. That's what you meant. I need this party to cheer me up. In your way. Yes. She'd always recite something at this party. It'd be honored if you would on her behalf. Oh, you both I'm about to flood this country with tears. <laughs> It's nice, she's doing a, a great job, but I feel like it's gone on for like 10 minutes already. We know, we know you can play the piano well. The fact that she bought, she brought Diana up to meet her. That's so sweet! Is it something that you aspire to, Diana? Aspire to? With your music? Yes, if it were agreeable to my husband. Oh, dear. Despite what you've been told, no. perhaps you'd like something more than simply keeping a house. I, I, you must play something. Diana, you need to think uh, more oh, and no, I, harder. I'm, not, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I love your pixie haircut. These are the nice people we need in Anne's life every single day. Gilbert and her, and we're good to, good to go. What do we have here? A farm boy? You must be a farm boy. A sad farm boy. I'll dress for a summer sommeil. Yes. Yes. I love this. And I know Cole does too. Now, you fit in and you look great, my man. The first time that one has spoken aloud. Have you had to be of some service? Alright guys, I'm about to throw a party like this. All of you are invited. I need everyone to dress like this. Myself as Gertrude and tells me I do not want to purchase the book I'm perusing as it's impossibly bleak and in the end the protagonist is murdered. <laughs> Sorry, spoilers right off the bat. Nothing but a room full of the most wonderful friends. Dude, that's man, that's extremely sweet. The always surprising, bright eyed, big brained, and Shirley. Big Cumberland. brain. Get up there, Anne. Get up there. It's your moment. Shine once again like you did in the play. To seek real knowledge of life amidst oh. its perils. And she starts crying. Me too. Me too. I'm about to walk off camera. I'm about to just oh, sit down in yeah, the rain, in the rain, no, no. so my tears will blend in. Oh. And I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be done. Life had so many colors through my eyes. They did my world forever. Would you like to dance with Josephine? Alright! I I would. Aww. Dude, like this episode's been so sad, but it has just enough of these moments to where you're like, man, the, these, these sad ones are totally worth it because we're getting these. Where are you going? It is too dark. Where are you going? Oh, oh my god, did she just fall downstairs? You just fell downstairs. I'm about to fuss through the whole world. You need help. Burden and no matter what you're going through. 
And I know how I said, like, when this show's, like, happy and that's when it's at its best and it's good. But these sad scenes, too. When they're sad... God, they're sad. I'm glad Anne's fitting in so well. I mean, I heard from my whole life. They... They can't have... They weren't. Fix it, and I will. I don't have time to argue. I need to bring Mother her tray. Matthew, I just scrubbed the floor. Oh my god, Tell dude. Me, that transition. We it didn't. We didn't need that. Of the composition and well, if our young farm boy isn't an artist. He needs Once. to talk to another artist, so he can get well, inspired again. Control the pencil. Confidence back up. The ability to make it gives meaning to sadness in a way that many aren't able to experience. Cole, have you seen Diana? We were dancing and man, she, she has a way with words. Time, yet it made such magnificent sense. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely life. inspired. Go pick up a pen and paper right now to get to work. Man! Everyone at this party is great. I I don't know her, I don't think I'll ever see her again, but man, I'll tell you right now, I'm in love with her. I think your lifestyle is secret. My parents certainly don't know. That must mean it's wrong. Must mean your parents are living in the dark ages. Two women could never have children. It doesn't make sense. In How can you say love that? Love works in mysterious ways. From one to another. It's unnatural, Anne. It's not unnatural. Love is love. Broken, defective, correlates. Unnatural. Cole relates. One day, she met someone that made her realize that wasn't true. Yes, Cole. Was nothing wrong beautifully with said. And she was a possibility. It's what your friends are here for. To educate. Oh, you gotta love it. And I love her love story. Wish I could have seen them together all the time, being happy together. I think I'm like you and Gertrude. Oh. You have a life of such joy before you. Not without hardship, not without bumps in the road. Quite touched. I mean, we can see this coming, but it's nice to hear him tell her about how he feels inside. I mentioned this in season one that she was one of my favorite characters. This is why. I just wish she was in the show more. But the time she's in it, she owns it. I don't need No, it's the least that I can do. It's my fault too. It wasn't just her. Mother. You lost me. But you were robbed. I mean I needed you. And you had to stay here and take care of me. Otherwise Otherwise nothing. You think I feel an ounce of regret about that? It's been you and me all these years. She used to fight it. She lost a child. She had other children. Oh. I can understand what that must have been like. We all lost Michael. <sighs> and you lost Michael. And you got up every morning and you raised me. Hearing Matthew talk about their mom like that, though, I know he's hurting, but jeez. I think so. Look at us. Gapping on. <laughs> We're gonna get through it. We're getting through it together, and that's... Yeah, the three. It's always been just you two, there for each other, but now there's a third member. And you guys are, are an actual family. Family. The scene was heartbreaking though, talking about their mom, Matthew, expressing his feelings about how she should have, you know, fought through it. I don't even know where to start. All sad. I won't disturb you, Myrtle. I just wanted to see you. Come here, please. Thank you for the portrait. I still missed you very much, but it happened. <laughs> you missed me? I did. Adventure. Perhaps you could speak it quietly. <laughs> And being quiet, that's asking a lot, but it looks fantastic. I saw I saw Matthew walking up in the back. Oh no, I feel better already. Oh, look the same for everyone. They can come in so many forms. There we go. How can there be anything? It's a life lesson. Life. It's spent the person you love. 
due to I. This is incredible. <laughs> incredible. Beautiful. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite episodes of the show. It's up there. Fears, sensations, and excitements. We're really feeling Only better. Gilbert, we missed you in this forth. one. Mom, there's no shame in reading glasses. No. Straight in the eyes and Ooh. Oh, yeah. No jokes about my age. Thank you very much. <laughs> no jokes here. No and jokes. A word or phrase yeah. that makes. Perhaps the good doctor can tell us the answer. Answer is modifier, sir. And I managed to learn that with no extra time. Yeah. Boy! Correct. Take that. Commit. Commit. Of course, he'd be a much better teacher than you. That's a promise. Good doctor? <sighs> Someday I hope I get there. In the meantime, it feels good to know what I want. You will get there. Put your mind to it. Got it. Keep Anne in your corner to inspire you with her words. Are we all good? I'm going to be a writer. Maybe. Maybe I'll be a lot of things. There you go. There you go. Keep that mindset forever. I now dub thee pen of possibility. <laughs> Alright, once again, N with an E proving uh, why the show is untouchable at its best. Incredible episode filled with many great things. A lot of, a lot of things happened here. Uh, and, and some of my favorite things, the party, of course, how wonderful and special N felt there and fit in, whereas uh, at school and just her normal everyday people that she sees, she doesn't seem like she fits in at all and thinks she's different. Uh, and just wants to be normal, but this party helped her in so many ways. Uh, just knowing that she can fit in no matter what, where no matter where she goes, there's always a place for her. Uh, loved it. Just loved her there. Um, Cole? Cole finally coming out, and uh, I thought that scene was wonderful. Uh, we, we sort of seen it coming. I, I sort of seen it, and you know, just the way things went down, but to hear him finally, finally say it, and uh, yeah, saying, you know, I might be, li be like you two, uh, I think it was an incredible way to come out, just hearing about their love, it felt like the right time, uh, but yeah, incredible, another incredible scene, incredibly sad, was Matthew and Marilla, Marilla of course laying in bed like uh, their mother after Michael died, and then just hearing Matthew's thoughts on that while taking care of Marilla, hearing Marilla defend their mother. Uh, it sucks what happened with their mother after Michael died and how she was just bed rest and couldn't do anything and didn't get out of bed, didn't fight through it, just sort of fell into a deep hole of nothingness and she didn't do anything. And Marilla had to take care of her, take care of Matthew. Life was taken away from her. Uh, but Matthew, he was, of course, like, she should have fought through it. Like, come on, you have other children. Uh, which I've heard of a lot of people going into a state like that after they lose a child. Uh, and it, it affects people differently. And how Marilla had to rise up after he died and take care of everything. Uh, and, yeah, her brother died. Just like your son died, her brother died, and... You know, it just affects people differently. Of course, you have more children, so you would want that person to fight through it, but you just never know what's going on in the inside and what they're going through. But yeah, you had more children, so kind of with Matthew there, it's just... But I can see both sides. Uh, but yeah, that scene was heartbreaking. Uh, when Anne came back and how Marilla instantly felt better and just brightened her whole world up, uh, Anne told her about the party, told her how wonderful it was, and how Marilla would have loved it. Yeah, it was, it was so good. Uh, just, I would say m possibly my favorite episode of the series. I'd have to go back and watch some season one ones to just sort of give the correct judgment there. But yeah, this episode was incredible. Yeah, proving once again how why it's untouchable, and with any 
really was an amazing episode here. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Thanks for watching. I'm out.